what's going on friends welcome back to another video today i wanted to show you uh something from one of my favorite japanese brands which is uh maruman um, and they have this super cool binder called the kurufit binder uh kurufit is a made up word a combination of both japanese and english kuru means to roll and fit from english is that it can fit anywhere so one of the cool aspects about this binder is that you can roll it up like this basically and put it anywhere so you know how your backpack has like that water bottle holder it can probably even fit there i zoomed out just a little bit so we can see a little bit better um while i'm maneuvering things around uh, but yeah and so another one another cool aspect about this binder is that it has a translucent cover uh, so you can immediately see the contents of your binder and identify which one you need to use. It also does come in different colors, so that's another way to um, tell apart if you have multiple Kudufit binders, which one you need um, to access. Now, I have seen a few videos or like pictures of this binder, and I was always curious because I was so, uh, not confused, but I was just a little bit intrigued um, about how it worked, but it's got, you know how a, a standard binder has the two clips on the end uh, that you can press down and, and it just like uh, opens apart? Uh, well, this has a super small white block on the bottom portion and listen to this. Yeah, nothing, right? <laughs> and so I just pulled it and it's now open. And let's close it. Just a small little click. That's all it takes. So now I know how this works. And the binder, it's the binder, the binder will come with, I think, 20 sheets of paper. Um, and it can fit up to 20, 20 sheets uh, in the binder. Um, and now I'll show you because you can actually buy loose leaf paper to make the binder work for you um some ideas that i was working on were uh, uh like a recipe book obviously um classroom notes you know something for school so i'm going to start with the fact that you can buy um line paper that's like our standard uh, it comes with 50 sheets, all B5. I'm assuming that's a six millimeter uh, grid or space. Uh, so that's what this is. And I was playing with like, what can I do with it? So I was doing, uh, um, sorry, Spanish food recipe book. So that's what I have. Like arroz con gandules, which I don't know how to make. And pollo guisado. I ha I tried it once or twice and it was okay. Uh, the other paper is this like uh, writing practice paper, I'm assuming, which is mainly for like the younger students in our house. Uh, so your kids, if they're learning how to write or you're trying to help somebody else out with their handwriting. I guess even for adults because sometimes... Um, if they want to practice like straighter lines, that's a good way to do it. Uh, so it comes in a, a pack of 30 sheets. Um, 13, what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, 13. Yeah, so 13, uh, I guess, practice lines. So that's pretty neat. Also like a separate add-on if you, if you need it, uh, which is pretty cool. Another one of the loose uh, leaf packages that I have is color coded paper, and so this comes with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different colors, all the same B5 size, all have the, the holes already, um, I guess, pre punched. Uh, 60 sheets, um, and so I think this is ideal for like a student or if you want to separate notes by color, let's say the, like for work, these are for a specific project, for your meetings, for your to do's, uh, you know, things like that. So I was using it for like I, I had the blue as like history or facts and then this like 
orange one was for like language learning, you know? So this was pretty neat because you can easily separate your, your notes um, by color, super, super easy. And then the next uh, pack of paper that I have, oh, okay, well, this is just like using the standard um, paper that came with the, the binder for some math notes. Now this is something that really, really excited me, friends. This is drawing paper. And this, you can buy a, um, a pack of 15 sheets of drawing paper. And you know how sometimes um, when you get a new sketchbook, you're like, mm, I don't wanna use it because I wanna make sure it's perfect or I don't wanna ruin it or I'm afraid of messing it up. That's very me. I have so many sketchbooks and I think I have one going or two maybe and like i barely work in them because i want to make sure everything's perfect but i have to realize that these are sketches and a sketchbook is meant for me to evolve and continue practicing my skills so anyway if you if you're like that like me this is ideal because then you can just buy uh a few packs of this paper and keep them in your kudu fit. So if there's a sketch that you don't like, you just don't put it in there. Or you just, you know, I don't know, start over, recycle it, and just completely forget about it. And only keep the progress that you want to see or what you think fits the aesthetic that you want in your binder. So I thought that was pretty neat. And it's got a nice little drawing paper texture, of course. I don't know if you can if you can tell. Uh, you should because this is all like shaded in with pencil. And so that's basically the texture of the paper. So that was one of my favorites. I'm so excited for that paper. And I may need a separate could have fit for that purpose of like progress and my sketches. So um, one other cool thing about the Kudu Fit binder is that you can also get a loose leaf pad of paper. So you can buy, isn't this great friends? You can buy like a this block of, of paper and just carry that with you everywhere. And then once you are done, once you get home, you forgot your Kudu Fit or maybe you, you keep your Kudu Fit at home. You get to your, your binder and you can just remove the pages and place them where they need to go depending on subject or topic or purpose. Let's say you had a recipe here, you had classroom notes, you had meeting notes. Then all of those can then just be removed from here um, and placed in your could have fit. So that was what this was. It was just a little practice page. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty neat. And I think these are the some of the, the sheets that came with the, the Kudu Fit. Um, here, they also uh, uh, include an insert uh, showing a few of the other uh, uh, inserts that they have. Uh, I was really curious to see that there's a, a long, like, clear zipper baggie. Uh, they have craft paper. So a lot a lot of options and then you see these guys right here yeah let me show you so maruman also has two small little binders i'm not sure which one came first because this one specifically says uh i sorry i don't know how to say this word uh sept cooler sept color <laughs> uh metal binder file note mini but then this one is the into one binder mini uh they're two different sizes you can see but they take the same exact inserts uh but also the way you open it is slightly different so this one has the like the, the binder clips that we're used to probably the, with the snapping sound. So it's not as quiet as the Kudu Fit, but this one is, let me show you. This has like two of these little clips on the end and you just press them together and 
now it's open. Then you just push them in. Yeah, super cool. So this little guy, these little guys also come with their own um, inserts, loose leaf inserts. And so a few of the ones that I have are the to-do list, which I love. I I after using my plotter with my to-do list, I am just in love with to-do list. It's such a great way of keeping track of my projects uh, and where I am with my with my progress. Uh, I they also have craft paper so sorry i totally completely forgot to t say that there's 50 of these sheets um and then there are 30 of the craft paper which is super cool oh, i put here craft paper just in case i forgot but yeah, i just and they kind of show a little bit of how you could use it it's in japanese but your phones should have a translator um and then also, this was pretty cool. There is a pack of the color-coded paper, um, 90 sheets. That is amazing. I think this one only holds up to 60 sheets of paper, but I'm assuming that this one would hold a little bit more since the rings are a little bit bigger. Yeah, most definitely. So if you need like a more dense, um, small organization um format then this is probably the way to go and this this guy the file note mini already came with these little these little tabs so you can just uh, label them uh, which i think is great i love this and i think it also came with like yeah 20 20 little sheets of uh of paper uh, they also include a few little like inspiration uh, images like here's people using it to sketch to travel journal which I think is pretty pretty cool there is a like a uh, business card pocket um, that they sell I don't have that with me there is a little um, plastic um, uh, sleeve uh, like a pocket and I do have that so let me show that to you here uh, it's actually in here. So here is the Into One Binder Mini. Here's a few of the other uh, paper. There's um, graph paper. Sorry, this is too small. I'm assuming this is blank. I wonder. It'd be cool to have like small size format of the drawing. Uh, but if it's blank, then that should be okay as well. Uh, I think that's the craft paper. Here's the pocket the plastic pockets i think it's two of them and then you get one little um uh zipped pocket as well so again some inspiration of how to use it if you're curious uh, and it also came with three little separators uh, so you can put a little washi there or a label and this one came with graph paper, which I think was pretty cool. And I I don't oh here that here it is. So there's this little ten sheets of uh, uh clear pocket. That's what it says in Japanese. Kuria pocketo. Um so I I guess you could you could uh because it's also pre pre punched or whatever, pre perforated, um, hole punched. Sorry, I don't know the term. Uh, so I was curious of how you could use it because you would have to put whatever you need in there before you put it in in the rings. Otherwise, once you are once you put it in there, you can't unless you take it out. You can't access it because the opening is on the spine. You know. Um, so I thought this would be a cool little way to do like a little on the go whiteboard. Uh, if you use a little water based marker, which most are, I uh, put a little clear, clear paint, clear sheet of paper behind it or graph paper and just write, you, you have a small little whiteboard. Uh, oh, oh, I was trying to remember where my other little 
where my other little practice sheets were, but they're here. So the awesome thing about these guys is that they also work in the the big Kudu Fit binder. So I went ahead and put my little craft paper in here. I was like, I was just trying to like um, collage a little bit. Um, Colores de inspiración para la nueva casa. Uh, color inspiration for the new house. That's what I was like collaging. And this is my little to-do practice uh, sheet, like work, private, like appointments, dates. Um, and then also here is the clear pocket and I put stickers in here. Uh, and I love that it, it fits in here. So, but just for fun, I'm gonna transfer all of these over to my little, uh, my into one binder mini. So we can just get that going, friends. And just show you how easy it is. I'm so, I'm so excited. I, I've always been curious about this system, specifically the big one. I didn't know there was a small format available but I almost want to use this for my ink swatches, um, like maybe for my shop. You know how I have big swatches of my uh, my ink colors, then maybe I can just keep them in here so I don't have to carry something big. Um, and yeah, I'll just put them in here. So I'm gonna pull my little craft paper. Sorry, let me, let me move in front of the camera. I'm gonna put my little to-do and my little pocket. And here we go, friends. How cute is that? Cute little binder. What do you think, friends? What do you think about the Kudufit binder, friends? Is that something you can see working for you? I'm super excited, so I, I'm glad I was able to play with it. And now I know how I can use it uh, definitely for like my other areas of study. Um, I would like to keep one for sketches because that drawing paper was actually pretty cool. And you know, I didn't practice like watercolor, but I'm sure it can handle it okay. So that will be next. And this guy is perfect perfect for studying, perfect for like for in my uh, field, there is a certification that I want to reach. So this would be perfect to um, annotate things and study on the train because I have a 45 minute commute to my office. So this would be great to just carry with me and and study on the train. So anyway, friends, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something uh, today. I hope I introduced you to a new product and that I inspired you. I would appreciate if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And thank you so much for your continued support. I truly appreciate you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.